Hello Fight Fans, in today's news, Robert Whittaker explains his advantages over Kamzat Shemaev. Draken Buckley continues his feud with Ariel Hawani. Ian Gary says even the best version of Colby Covington doesn't stand a chance against him. Mike Tyson says it's going to be a real fight against Jay Paul. Robert Whittaker recently discussed his advantages against Kamzat Shemaev. He believes his speed and movement will make it difficult for Kamzat to take him down and giving him the upper hand in striking. Here is what he said. Yeah, thank you. And I'd like to think so as well. I'd like to think that I'm going to go in there with a speed advantage and a striking advantage. I'm going to, I'm going in there thinking that his, I think one of his greatest strengths is the fact that he can force the wrestling on people. And yep. I think it's going to be a little harder to force the wrestling on me just because of my distance, because of my control of spacing. And yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be a hard fight. I'm going to take that same mentality into this fight and look to, look to take him to war and just, just earn this win. I'm going to earn this win. And this puts me in perfect direction for, for a title shot and condition for a title shot, which, is the, which has always been the goal. Joachim Buckley stands firm in his criticism of how MA media uses fighters. A few days ago, he accused Ariel Hawani during a live interview of manipulating fighters and using them as weapons against the UFC. Now on the Bispings podcast, he elaborated on his statement and clarified the situation. Could have us get in trouble with what who we work for. But me personally, when it comes to me personally, uh, why are you trying to talk to me now? When I did my kick, it was a beautiful situation. Everybody wanted to talk to me, right? Uh, but when I took an L, you know what I mean? Didn't hear anything from Eric. But when I got a couple wins, didn't hear. It, it wasn't until I got uh, dust to get in my corner, right? Uh, to, 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 to really, you know, promote the fight, really get people, right. you know, interested in it. Like, ah, oh, man, this dude got the survival attack. This guy, this shit ain't gonna work, you know? And guess what it did, right? Got the win over Razak Alhassan. The first thing he asked me uh, before we got started, he was like, hey, you're not upset, are you? And at first, I didn't really put two to two together. I was like, no, nah, why is that? You know, oh, well, I haven't talked to you since, you know, the kick and everything. So I just wanted to make sure, uh, whatever. And I was like, well, no. Nah. And I even explained it myself, right? I was like, well, you know, you know, guys got to work their way up, you know, so I understand it's just business and all this other stuff. But I, I realized after that, you know, whole thing, I was like, he only talked to me because I had uh, dust in my in my corner. So mm -hmm. he really put me whatsoever. And now that I'm on this uh, win streak at 170, you know, and I shouldn't have even took the interview. I ain't even gonna stunt because it had me feeling some way and it, and it had me out of character on this show, right? Um, but I feel like, you know, most of the media, when they do not promote us in the, in, in the light that we should, uh, I really feel like uh, they diminish who we are as a character, as, as human beings. Ian Gary confidently stated that even the best version of Colby Covington wouldn't stand a chance against him. They've been exchanging video messages, calling each other out, and it looks like their fight is probably going to happen soon. Here's what Ian Gary said about it. I want to fight him because of the following he has, the, the respect on his name as one of the better fighters in the division and has been for a long time. I want to fight him because of all the shit that he has talked about me and my family. And I'm going to make sure that he regrets every word he's said. But I also know that even if it was the best Kobe Covington we ever seen, he would never stand a chance against me. So yeah, I, no matter how good Kobe Covington ever could be or would be, he would never be able to beat me. I'm too elite, I'm too fast, I'm too technically brilliant. Ciao, ciao. I'm too technically brilliant. He just doesn't stand a chance. I'll step into the octagon and I'll retire him. That's my goal. My whole goal to when I fight Kobe Covington is so that he never puts on MMA gloves ever again. Mike Tyson recently confirmed that his boxing match with Jake Paul will follow exhibition fight rules. However, he emphasized that it will be a real fight and he intends to give it his all to defeat Jake. This is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. I don't, I don't think he's faster than me. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm gonna be fighting. This guy's gonna come, he's gonna to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's gonna be greatly mistaken. Right now, I'm, fr I'm scared to death, but as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality, and in reality, I'm invincible. 
And that wraps today's news. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe bell to stay in the loop. Keep supporting the sport and we will see you in the next one.